everyone, this is Maria and today I'm in the kitchen and I want to share with you how to make the cinnamon crisp. So I have a sweet tooth you guys and sometimes I just don't have anything sweet around the house but I'm craving something sweet. So that's when I go to my pantry and I pull out some white sugar, some cinnamon and some cooking oil and some flour tortillas. So let's get started you guys. And so I do have three bowls here. Let me tell you real quick, we're going to make the cinnamon mixture in this one. This one I'm going to line with paper towels to drain you know, any excess oil from the tortillas once I fry them. And this is where we're going to put them all once they're done. So I just have that all set up. So I'm going to just put some sugar, and you could put any amount of sugar in here that you like. Okay, it just depends how much you make. I mean, if I'm going to make just a couple for myself, I just take a small bowl and then we're going to add some cinnamon and again this will be to your liking I like things that are really cinnamony and so let's go ahead and do this gosh you guys it is a gorgeous April day today it's like summer and it's gonna be I believe in the 80s today which I don't mind the 80s you guys it's when we get to the triple digits here in Southern California during the summer when it gets really hot Okay, you can see this is turning a light brown. It smells so good, you guys. I mean, if you love cinnamon, you will love these. Okay, we're just going to sprinkle some more and just going to mix this up. And what's great about this, if you have any left over, you can just put this in a Ziploc bag or a little container. And I just put mine in the fridge. And so then I'll have it made for next time. Looks good, you guys. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I'm probably overdoing the cinnamon, you guys. But again, that's up to you. Okay, I like the way this looks, you guys. Okay, so now we have our cinnamon and sugar mixture. So now I'm going to go ahead and line this casserole dish with some paper towels. So now my dish is lined with paper towels. You can also use like a cookie sheet or a bowl or anything like that. You just want something lined with paper towels. So you're also going to need a stove, a frying pan, and something to turn the tortillas with. So I'm going to use a spatula and I also have this spoon here with the holes. And so I could use either one, whichever one I feel most comfortable using. So I'm going to turn on the flame and I'm going to have it probably about medium and I want to make sure that I'm going to push this a little bit over you guys because I don't want these paper towels too close to the flame so you want to make sure that you're working in a safe area I would usually do these on the opposite side of the stove you guys it's just I wanted to keep everything together for this video and so I'm going to pour some of this oil canola oil into this frying pan and I'm going to let it heat up. And while the oil is heating up, let's go cut up our tortillas. So here are the flour tortillas that I'll be using today. And so these are the Guerrero brand. I'll be using these regular white flour tortillas, also the wheat ones. And the reason I chose these, I bought them at the 99 cent store last night, you guys, is because they're really thin. And I like mine to be more crispy. You can use any of the other ones. They will work. It's just up to you, you guys, and what you have available to you. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'll take two at a time. And all you're going to do, be careful with your fingers, very careful with your fingers. If you're a child, make sure that you have help from a grown-up because you're going to be working with the stove. And of course, this knife, you know, you just want to be very careful. And so, yeah, it's always more fun to make these with someone anyways. So basically, I cut up the tortillas like in these little pizza-sized wedges. So let's go ahead and put these into the frying pan. The oil looks like it's getting hot. And what I always do is I do a test. Oh, yes, this is hot enough. And you're just going to fry these. And you don't want to burn them, you guys. But if they get a little bit over golden brown, that's okay. They'll still taste good. And remember, you guys, while you're making these, do not walk away from the stove while you have these tortillas cooking in the hot oil. Okay, so see how they're browning really quickly? Let's go ahead and turn these over. And careful, don't stand too close to the stove because I just had some oil 
spit out at me. And so let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, you want to make sure that your oil is nice and hot before you put your tortillas in. Look how pretty these are. These are nice. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to lift this up very carefully and I'm going to remove these from the frying pan and I'm going to put them right onto the paper towels. And be very careful Again, you're working with this hot oil. Okay, so let's put a few more in here. Very nice, you guys. These are really delicious to snack on, you guys. And then you can also put them in your ice cream. Okay, then we're going to remove them. So I just turned off the stove and I'm going to move the pan right over here. And so I'm gonna take some of these over here that I did earlier and I'm going to just cover them in cinnamon the cinnamon mixture. Look how delicious, you guys. These are so yummy. And so we're just going to put those here. And you want to do this while they're still a little bit warm. You don't want them to cool down too much. But you also, also, but you also don't want them to be really hot when you pick them up. So here are the cinnamon crisps and you can see how they turned out really nice you guys and they're bite sized and they're perfect for a snack. But let me go ahead and show you how to make one that's a little bit different. So my mother used to make buñuelos and so they look just like a tortilla except hers used to be homemade and she always made them on New Year's Eve. And I remember she would have a table like our dining room table and it was so beautiful the way she lined it with tablecloths that were so perfectly clean and not a wrinkle on them. And then she would make the dough and then she would make her, they look like tortillas, but I don't think they were the same way that she would make a flour tortillas because they looked a little bit different. But these do work, you guys. So we're going to take a whole tortilla and I'm going to put it right into the oil. And you'll see that they puff up. And so what I do is I just poke those with a fork. I don't know where I learned how to do that, you guys. I just know I've done that for years. And so then we're going to just let that fry just a little bit. And I just sort of press those little bubbles down with my fork. And then I'm going to carefully turn it over there we go, look how golden brown. You don't want to burn it if possible, you guys. But if it burns a little bit around the edges, it's okay because it will still taste wonderful. Look how pretty that is. 
So I'm going to take a peek. It looks like it's all done. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this on the paper towels. Let me go ahead and lift my camera right there so you can see that. And I'm going to just let the oil drip just a little bit. And I'm going to lay this right on some clean paper towels. I went ahead and switched those out. I also washed out my frying pan and I put some more oil in here and also with the sugar because I had made so many. There was like so many crumbs everywhere, you guys. Now we're going to use a wheat tortilla. And so let's go ahead and set that in the oil. Now the thing with the wheat tortilla is what I noticed. Let's go ahead and press those bubbles down. Is that because the tortilla is brown, you really have to pay attention because you may not to see uh, because you may not see when it's turning golden brown because it's already brown, right? And so just pay attention to that. I could see it turning brown right around the edges. And then let's go ahead and just let it sit there just for another second. And let's go ahead and flip this over. Oh, okay, see how brown it is, you guys? But I think this is okay, because I have made these before using the wheat tortillas, and I did notice how really brown it looked, and I thought it was burnt, but it still tasted all right. But I do prefer to use the white tortillas, you guys. I do prefer to use the white ones. So I'm going to go ahead and try another wheat one. Yikes, you guys, <laughs> that one's really puffing up. So be very careful, very careful. And let's go ahead and turn this over. It's not really fried on the other side. Yeah, I do prefer, see you guys, I do prefer to use the white ones. Yeah. So I really don't recommend using these unless you really, really want to use wheat tortillas. Okay, so here they are, you guys. This one is the white flour tortilla. I really like the way it looks. It's nice and crispy and golden brown. And this is the one I recommend. These two right here are the wheat tortillas. And so this one burnt a little bit. And you could tell from when I was frying it, I didn't have it in there very long. And then here's the second one. This one's a little bit lighter. So let's go ahead and put some cinnamon sugar on these. And so I'm just going to sprinkle this. This looks really nice. And so you might want to use a bigger bowl or a cookie sheet for the larger ones. But I think you will like making the smaller ones, you guys. They are so much easier to make and I love the snack size. There you go, you guys. This one is a buñuelo. And then how you would eat it is you would just snap it right off. And there you go, you guys. It's delicious. So let's go ahead and do the wheat one. I'm not going to do the one that was burnt, you guys. I decided not to. But it happens, right? That's why in the kitchen it's like it's like science. You learn by doing, you guys. But I highly recommend that you make the cinnamon crisp in the snack size. They are so much easier to make and so delicious and easy to snack on. And remember, you can always use these as a garnish in a bowl of ice cream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy cooking, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.